Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the upcoming Team of the Year team, and we're going to figure out how much they're going to cost on the market. This is going to be a really fun video where we predict the prices and how much Team of the Year is going to cost this year. The men's team, the women's team, and even a couple of the icons we'll be looking at because, of course, this year is a different year with 24 Team of the Year cards and packs, a team of men, team of women, 12th men and women, and also the team of the year icons. There's going to be a lot in packs, but how is that going to impact the market, especially with these team of the year cards having two play style pluses? That's going to be one of the biggest things, but this video will really be helpful for, I think, a lot of you that are maybe trying to buy a team of the year or thinking, can I afford a team of the year? We're going to put some thought into how the prices on this market are working this year and the pack weight for team of the years is never going to be good, but comparing it to the pack weight for promos, how much are these guys going to cost? That's what we're going to dive into in this video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Without further ado, let's just dive straight into the predicting with the goalkeeper of the men's team, right? We've got the full league team of the year. We even know some of the official stats, not for Allison yet, but that'll kind of make its way into the predictions as we go later on in the video. Let's start with Allison though, right? The goalkeeper, everybody knows for team of the year is always the cheapest card. When Allison had a team of the year a couple years back, he was one of the most packable cards. Last year in FIFA 23, Courtois was the goalkeeper. He was 96 rated, and it was a cracked goalkeeper card, right? But the goalies are just always the most packable, and they're the cheapest as well. Last year, Courtois was around 300,000 coins before rising up to 500k plus out of packs. As we look at a lot of these graphs last year, I'm sure that you guys that play the game remember as well. Team of the Year has absolutely exploded last year out of packs. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen this much this year, but for goalies, they're kind of always in the same range for a price. Like, Team of the Year goalkeeper is almost always between 300,000 coins and 500,000 coins. But I think this year there's one aspect that makes things different for Allison. Will he get the first ever playstyle plus as a goalkeeper, right? He's got three playstyles on his base gold card, but no goalkeepers yet in this game have gotten a playstyle plus. Can you imagine your goalkeeper making a save um, and then, or throwing the ball with far throw, and then the little playstyle plus icon? pops up above the head of the goalkeeper in game. That's something we haven't seen yet. And it might happen during team of the year. So if they do that, that's going to make his card a lot more valuable and maybe above my price target for him, which is going to be 500 to 700,000 coins. He might be towards the 700,000 coin range with a playstyle plus, depending on how meta that makes him in game. Of course, links to Virgil van Dijk going to be very meta. I mean, Brazilian goalkeeper, he's always good in game. Anyway, I think 500 to 700k is a good shout. Now, let's move into the other parts of the defense with our right back, Jeremy Frimpong. Again, a controversial inclusion in Team of the Year, but everybody knows that if, if you've used this Frimpong card this year, he is insanely meta. His Thundershot card, when you look at the stats, uh, is not that crazy of a card besides the pace. He has 76 physical and 81 defense. He's got some good ball control um, play styles. He's got quick step. He's got the energizer battery relentless. He even has jockey and he has a long throw in plus. But when you look at his stats, 66 strength and only, what does he have? Uh, 81 aggression. It's his dribbling that is really good and it's his pace, right? But in game, he is crazy meta. And this card is going to be crazy meta as well. With 99 pace, almost no doubt, they're going to give him a big defense and, and physical boost. And although he is in the Bundesliga, which he is the only player in the Bundesliga from the team, which might make him a little bit less desirable for linking up into other teams. There's not that many crazy Bundesliga cards this year. He is still going to be one of the best right backs in the game. And I think with two play style pluses, we're going to talk about this a lot. I think that some of these team of the years are just going to end up being really expensive because they're going to be kind of pushing the way into a new meta and then pushing the power curve up very significantly with two play style pluses. And I think that's going to impact the gameplay a lot because people are going to want to put their coins there as the most meta cards in the game. I think all these team of the years are going to be really expensive this year, guys. I really believe they will be. And they may not rise as much because once the rest of the power curve catches up with two play style pluses, once we are able to do that with evolutions, once they drop that more consistently with promo cards, I think the curve will catch up to them. But right now, they're still very far ahead of the curve when they get dropped with those two play style pluses. I think Frimpong is going to be 1.5 million coins. Uh, last year, Hakimi was like 1.8 and then rose above 2. Again, PSG links compared to Leverkusen links. This is Frimpong's first team of the year. A lot of people don't even know if he should be in. 
or say it's undeserved. I don't think it's undeserved. I just think that maybe not everybody voted for him. I'm going to say 1.5 mil. He's just going to be a beast with his pace. Let's go to the rest of the defense. Ruben Diaz, all right? Ruben Diaz had a team of the year a couple years ago, and it was only, I think it was like um, somewhere around... 900k to a million coins. Ruben Diaz had this Trailblazers card already earlier on in the year, which people have used a lot, by the way. 90 physical, 88, um, uh, sorry, 90 defense and 88 physical. And he's got a four star weak foot, but he only had 65 pace, but he had a really good play style plus with anticipate. And people use this card. Now, the team of the year that we were just mentioning for Ruben Diaz back in FIFA 22, again, this was the year of incredibly high pack weight for team of the years there's no way ruben diaz is going to be less than a million coins this year especially with two play style pluses if i had to guess i think this ruben diaz card is going to be the cheapest men's center back between the two but he is going to end up being two million coins or above he's going to be a beast in game he'll be one of the best center backs because he's going to have incredibly high physical and defense and they're going to give him that pace boost so he's going to be above two mil maybe even two and a half mil for ruben diaz and that brings us to vvd all right, Virgil van Dijk, the best center back in this game. He's already got a winter wild cards that we've been looking at a lot in the videos recently on the market because he is absolutely insane, right? He's just above and beyond all the other center backs in this year's game. This winter wild cards version is now 1.6 million coins. It's gone up about 150k from where the market has crashed as people anticipate his team of the year being expensive. Guys, this might be one of the most expensive center backs we've ever had in team of the year the, the other center back that was this expensive only other center back was 99 rated Virgil van Dyke. I think it was FIFA 20 or 21 where he had that card and that card I think was like three and a half million coins honestly guys I think this year even if it's a 96 rated VVD which for some of the leaks that we have the ratings don't look that crazy and yes, they're going to be boosted. Yes, they're going to be crazy. But like, we're not talking 98s and 99s, right? We're talking 96s, couple 97s, even a few 95s. I still think with that big of a boost, Virgil van Dijk probably getting high to mid 80s pace. He's going to end up being 3 million coins. He's going to be the craziest center back in the game. And with, imagine two play style pluses, man. I keep saying that, but imagine Bruiser plus and Aerial plus on VVD, right? Hopefully they do that. Or if, imagine they do like Anticipate plus. This card will be disgusting. He's going to be so expensive. He's going to be really rare. And he's maybe even going to be more than three and a half mil, maybe four million coins because so many people are going to want that card. So watch out for a very expensive Virgil van Dyke. Now to the left back. We have Teo Hernandez, who was in Team of the Year last year, and I think his card was around the high 1-8 to 2 mil range. And this year, he's already had a pretty expensive card with the Dynasties card. He just had the center back version that was dropped as well. Uh, this is going to be a card that everybody is expecting to rise after Team of the Year. And unless we get a crazy center back SBC, it probably will. Uh, but this Dynasties version is his best card, and it was over a million coins, 1.2 mil, I think, uh, even in the last like couple of weeks. I can imagine a team of the year, Teo Hernandez, being 2 mil plus again this year. There are a lot of left backs, though, and he may not even be the best left back coming into the team of the year uh, teams out of the two teams. So I'm going to say 2 mil to 2.5 mil for Teo Hernandez, but he is going to be an absolutely insane left back card. Let's go to the midfield. Rodri. Rodri, we just had cards for, right? Of course, we talked about this earlier. Rodri has got the versus fire and the versus ice that are already such a huge boost, and these cards are already pretty expensive. How much is a Rodri team of the year going to be then? Honestly, guys, he might be the cheapest midfielder in team of the year. And he's going to be 2 million coins, in my opinion, because two play style pluses, this ice Rodri, if they make his team of the year anywhere near this, like imagine 90 pace, like 90 dribbling, almost 90 defense, physical and passing. That's going to be an absolutely disgusting card with two play style pluses. He's going to be so, so good and it could end up being one of the most meta cards in team of the year if they give him a decent boost off of his ice or fire version. I'm going to say 2 million coins. But it could be 3 million coins if he's super cracked. His teammate, Kevin De Bruyne in the midfield, right? A mainstay of team of the year. He's gotten a team of the year like so many years in a row. Last year, his card was around 2.5 million coins and rose up to 3.8, right? That, that crazy rise last year was just unprecedented on the market. I think KDB this year will be probably somewhere around the 3 to 3.5 million coin range. Again, guys, I'm shooting for higher price targets on these team of the year cards because of how meta I think they're going to be in the current stage of the game. And guys, we know how packable promo cards have been this year. Like, they have been so tough to pack. 
even in the random promos, like the versus promos, winter wild cards, like how many people actually packed a crazy card from winter wild cards from what was in packs, right? I feel like we all left winter wild cards in these latest promos with better Evo cards than what we had from opening packs. And I think that's not going to change for team of the year, which are going to be the most elite cards that we see in this game until team of the season, right? Why would EA want to change that? These cards are going to be tough to pack as we expect. And I think it's going to make them with the two play style pluses just really expensive. So I'm going to say three and a half mil for Kevin De Bruyne as well. I hope they give him a really big boost. He needs some more play styles. I don't even know what play style plus they would give him. Hopefully incisive pass and maybe long ball pass. He'd be like the best passer in this game with those two play style pluses. That would be crazy. So definitely excited for KDB, especially after using his flashback earlier on in the year. I know that card is absolutely mental. Now Jude, this, this is going to be the most expensive midfielder in team of the year for sure. And it's got to be because, number one, he's in all the headlines. He's having an absolutely insane year. But it's because he's now a Madrid player and his card looks incredible, okay? This is going to be the most expensive team of the year midfielder. In my opinion, 4 million coins for team of the year Jude. Again, the English links, the Real Madrid links. I don't know what playstyle plus they're going to give him. This one has technical. His base card has relentless plus. And then this one had slide tackle. Or sorry, this is interceptor, not slide tackle plus. But he has slide tackle on his card. Super curious to see what they give him um, for playstyles. I'm going to have to say 4 million though, guys. Because you look at that card right there. And tell me that all 90 stats, which is actually possible for Jude team, it's possible, man. They might snub him on pace, right? 80 pace is what his team of the group stage has. He might have like 88 pace. I hope that they give him 90s everything. That would be so disgusting um, and so amazing. And I'm making maybe even more than 4 million coins. But I just think that all those things combined are going to make him a really expensive card. Now, to the attack. And for the attackers, we have some confirmed statistics guys let's look first at Kylian Mbappe they did Kylian Mbappe they did him a good boost all right 99 pace as expected 96 shooting 88 passing 97 dribbling and the two play style pluses as shown on the loading screen are Trivella plus and quick step plus now over his best version in the game which is currently his 93 rated team of the group stage card that is plus one pace four shooting four passing three dribbling, seven defense, and seven physical. Really big physical boost for Mbappe. Another question I have is, will they upgrade his weak foot? Will he be five-star, five-star? If I had to guess, probably not. I don't think they'd want to do that this early on in the year. That's maybe something they would save for a team of the season and a little bit later on. But those are some nice play styles. I think if you use Mbappe, his Trivellas are already really good because he has that on his card. Um, and that quick step is also going to be really insane for him as well. This is going to be the most expensive team of the year card out of the entire team. I think that goes without saying. I think this Mbappe card is going to end up being 10 to 11 million coins. 10 to 11 million coins. That's kind of what it was last year. It's probably what he'll be this year. It's maybe even 12 mil. Who knows? Mbappe is just crazy this year. He's the only gold card still left over a 1 million coins. And he's 1.4 mil for his gold card too. So crazy card that if you pack it, I mean, you're set, right? Team of the year, Erling Holland as well. Uh, last year, he was in 12th man. And he was really expensive. And his team of the year card did not go up. It just dropped down the entire time that he was in packs. Now this year, Erling Holland, I mean, that's a really crazy looking card. Aerial plus and power shot plus for him. Um, he's going to be expensive because he's going to be tough to pack. 97 rated again. You notice with these ratings, right? 97 on Holland, 97 on Mbappe. That's a little lower than last year for some of these. We had a 98 Messi. We had a 97 Benzema and a 97 Mbappe last year as well. As well. But I think even previously before that, we had 98 rated Mbappes. Let me double check. Uh, 97 in FIFA 23, 97 and 22. I guess it's been 97 for Mbappe. Then you go back to FIFA 20 and it was 98 and then 97 and 19 as well. They just don't like giving out 99 rated team of the years anymore, which disappoints me, but I guess that's the way the EA want to do it for the power curve. Uh, but for Holland, I think he's going to end up being somewhere around 5 million coins just because it's Holland, right? I mean, that's the official dynamic image as well. Um, that is a good card. The passing's not the greatest, but if you're using Holland, you're going to cross into him, score goals, and then score a power shot with him. You know, just super crazy like that. His, his power shots are going to be insane. With the shot power he's going to have and that play style plus. Now, the team of the year that I'm the most excited for is Messi. Guys, this is the official dynamic image for Messi's team of the year. This is his card. Like, this is the one that's going to be in packs on Friday. It is the Ballon d'Or holding 
Lionel Messi with incisive pass and technical plus, which is really interesting. I think people were hoping for um, finesse plus on Messi's card, but that is not what we are getting. We are getting technical plus and incisive pass. He's still going to have probably his regular play styles that this radioactive card has. And it's a big pace boost for Messi. They need to upgrade the work rates too, okay? High, low work rates, EA. Please upgrade his work rates to that. We do not want him to be low, low. In my opinion, I'd like him to be high, low work rates. Um, and a, a pretty big physical boost. 77 physical over 68 from what this card has. Stamina is at 80. Hopefully, they boost that up a bit. Maybe his strength a little bit as well. His dribbling is going to be 98, not 99 this year. Um, and his pace is going up to 91. So you imagine with plus 9 pace, he'd be about 98 acceleration. And he'd be high 80s sprint speed, which is going to make his card unbelievable. But I have a couple things to say about this Messi before we get to a price. He's going to be tough to pack this year. Not just because it's Messi, but because everybody doing league upgrades last year was trying to pack Messi from, obviously, PSG and League One upgrades. This year, I don't think there's going to be a specific, you know, NWSL or MLS upgrade pack like there will be for the top five leagues. So I think your only chance of packing Messi will be from store packs and then other upgraded packs and SBCs or saved packs that aren't league specific. And that might make him a little bit more rare because we all know that league upgrade packs are the best to do to try to pack team of the years during the week. I think Messi... Even with the MLS links, I mean, making his card a little bit cheaper this year in general, since it's a team of the year Messi, since it's probably going to be one of the last ones or the last team of the year Messi that we have, I am going to say 5 million coins once again. And that was his price last year with PSG links. And, you know, he, last year he had the high-low work rates, I think, right? Yeah, high-low work rates. He was 4-4. Four, four, and uh, he had the PSG links, and he was still about 4.7 mil, going all the way to 7 million coins. It was ridiculous how expensive he got. I think Messi will be five, maybe five and a half million coins this year, um, purely for the dynamic image. That dynamic image is cold, man. So that is the men's team of the year predictions, guys. Expensive. I really think it's going to be expensive. And the, the playstyle pluses for Messi, just to touch on that once again, I, it looks like for the playstyle pluses, they're giving not the best, most meta ones. They're giving good ones, but not all of them are the same, the most insane, right? I think we're going to see that trend continue with some of the players in the rest of the team as well. So let me take you through the women's team of the year that we're also going to look at. We're going a little bit faster through this one. And I have a couple thoughts here with women's team of the year. I think these are going to be the cheaper cards to kind of grace the market. Honestly, guys, I don't think it's going to be because their pack weight's going to be a ton better for a couple of them, potentially, right? They'll be more packable. But I think it's just because for the meta of the game, there will not be as many people wanting to use these cards. Now, albeit their team of the years, they will be expensive, they'll be hard to pack, and they'll be good in game. But it does kind of come down to the stats that they upgrade these cards with as well. Let's start with the defense. Mary Earps, right? This is going to be probably the most commonly packed team of the year card. I think she's going to end up being 250 to 300,000 coins. And yes, that may seem a little bit low in price, but um, I just think for the meta of the game, that's probably where she's going to be and probably the most packable team of the year card. Let's go to Bright in the defense. Chelsea, English center back. If it's actually an 80 paced uh, Bright card that we get, for Millie Bright, I think it's going to have to be somewhere around like 700 to 800,000 coins if that is the card that we get. If we get a better card with more pace, I could see it being more because an English center back, even if it's a little bit of a less meta player, I think it still will be desirable. And it's a team of the year. Once again, I'm going to say about 7 to 800k there. Wendy Renard is an interesting one to me. The Basha links, the French links, um, she already, actually, she just had a card in the Versus Fire and Ice promo. And a couple of her cards are actually kind of nice. Um, they got a nice pace boost, right? 75 pace, 74 pace. And they have some good um, oh high, high work rates. Is, what's this one? High, high as well. High, high work rates is interesting. But uh, imagine this card with more pace. Like, let's talk 80 lows, like 83, 84 pace with high 90s defense and mid 90s physical. That's going to be a really good team of the year card. French links as well. Uh, she's six foot two. So this is almost a full meta center back. I haven't used her card in game. This might be um, the cheapest team of the year center back that we, uh, sorry, not the cheapest, but this might be the most meta women's team of the year center back. I think Millie Bright will be cheaper. Um, I think Renard could end up being 
over a million coins, guys. Like maybe even 1.5 to 2 mil. Um, not quite what VVD level is, but with the French Lynx being six foot two and having those stats, she might end up being really, really cracked. So watch out for her card. That might be a sleeper in Team of the Year that would end up being really expensive. I'm going to say 1.5 mil. On your battle, the first uh, Barca women's player we'll talk about, 94 rated in his prediction. Hopefully, they give her a really nice pace boost as well. She would be a good right back to have in a team with Barca Lynx, especially with a lot of Barca players in this team again, right? I'm going to stay around a million coins for her because she's going to actually be pretty meta. There's a couple Evo versions for her that are really good. So I would say around a million coins. Karchawi at left back. It's going to be the most expensive defender, in my opinion. Upwards of 1.5 million coins. That's why I said with Teo Hernandez, Karchawi and Teo both being in this team it might actually hurt Teo Hernandez's price because Karchawi has been a very popular left back this year. If we would have never gotten the Basha SBC, I think this card would be a, like 100,000 coins more and Bon Pastor would be more expensive as well. But with Basha being in so many people's teams, my team included, I think this card's kind of a little bit cheaper because there's another great option there. But her card is absolutely insane in game. We knew that from the beginning of the year when she got her first inform and everybody was going crazy about that. I'm going to say 1.5, maybe even up to 1.7, 1.8 mil for Karchawi. Now let's get to the midfield. Most expensive cards here. Puteus, I'm going to say 4.5 to 5 mil for Puteus, depending upon the playstyle pluses. Also, Bonmati is going to be pretty expensive as well. And since they gave Messi a dynamic image of him holding Ballon d'Or, will they give Bonmati an image of herself holding the Ballon d'Or trophy since she won? That's potentially going to happen as well. My guess for her price, 2.5 to 3 million coins. That's a really, really crazy card. And then Oberdorf is going to be one of the cheaper cards in the team for sure. But she will be very good. I think Oberdorf will end up being around 800,000 coins, 750k for the upgrade there. One of the cheapest, but still a really, really good card. Now let's go to the attack. Everybody's excited for Graham Hansen. This is the official Graham Hansen card, guys, and it's a little disappointing. And this is where we start to think, ooh, what is EA going to do for these playstyle pluses? Some of the cards are probably going to be disappointing for what we get. Trivella is good, but whipped pass plus, a lot of people are hoping for the finesse plus, like the Hanson Trailblazers has. And I think that's going to impact this card's price a little bit, right? If you look at the Inform Hanson, it is so much cheaper on the market. It is so much cheaper than the Trailblazers version. Oh, I bet the Trailblazers is flying after this leak as well. How much is this card now? Wow, it looks like it's 900k. Or maybe even a little bit above. Yeah, it's a big price increase for Hanson. That's that's to be expected, honestly. This card in game is good, but this one with the Finesse Plus just plays even better. And I think that that's going to affect the Team of the Year price. Still going to be one of the more expensive women's Team of the Year cards that we have. But I'm going to say for Hanson, 3.5 million coins. Uh, her dribbling is incredible, though. And you look at those stats. The, the Barca links, of course. Even links to Holland if you want to go there. I think that's going to be one of the most expensive women's team of the year cards. But could have been more expensive if it had Finesse Plus. Now for Sam Kerr and Sophia Smith, I think both of these two cards will end up being around 1.5 to 2 million coins. Sophia Smith could be really cracked. Um, and Sam Kerr will be really cracked in game as well. Depending on the playstyle pluses, I could see Sophia Smith being one of the best uh, left stick dribbling attackers in the game. Her Trailblazers card was really, really cracked. First American Team of the Year card. I would be loving packing that one. That'd be so fun. And then Sam Kerr with her shooting and dribbling is going to be insane too. So uh, watch out for Finesse Plus on Sam Kerr. That might make her card even more than 2 million coins if we end up seeing that. So those are all my predictions for the Team of the Year cards. Let's actually really quick get into... A quick little overview of some of the Team of the Year icons that we don't have leaks for. We see a Mia Hamm on the loading screen. And of course, um, there's probably more leaks and more news coming about this after I record this video. But Mia Hamm is probably one of the icons coming really soon as they will probably do a double release of the Team of the Year icons like last year. Mia Hamm's icon card right now on the market is 3 million coins, 3.1 mil. She's going up. She was like 2.8. This card, even if it gets a plus one or a plus two, is probably going to end up being like 8 to 9 million coins, guys. You know the Team of the Years from prior years. Hullet was like... 9, 10 million coins and went extinct at 15. Um, R9 is probably going to be that this year. 10, 12, 13 million coins. Maybe ends up going extinct depending on his boost. Uh, we know that Sawa is an SBC. That's going to be a crazy SBC. Best will be super cracked. Mateus is going to be insanely cracked. Um, I just don't imagine. Remember the uh, team of the year icons that we had last year. If we go back and take a look at these squads, like these cards were all very expensive. Even Gerd Muller, like this card looks good. 
89 pace, 90 dribbling, and 95 shooting. Like, it's good, but it's not that crazy. He was still 1.5 to 1.8 million coins. Like, that's um, that's a really expensive card, right? It was a dynamic. It was the card design that made those cards super duper hyped. And I think this year, I don't even know if there's going to be a team of the year icon that'll be less than 500k. Um, check would be the only option for being less than 500k, in my opinion. Like, Javi will be hyped. Essien will be a cheap beast cheap i say right maybe around a million coins i think ribbery is going to end up being two mil um and an icon ribbery with a dynamic image is going to go crazy i'm really really excited for ribbery he's going to be five star five star i've been talking about this card in the videos and on the streams as it being too cheap 480 for ribbery still like i think this card is going to end up being 600k after team of the year because um people are not going to be able to afford the new ribbery and this one with technical plus and five star five star is just nuts. So that's a card that I think will do very well uh, post team of the year. But yeah, these team of the year icons are going to be expensive. And I think it's going to make the market rebound back at least early on pretty well as well. So we're continuing to watch the market. But guys, get ready for team of the year. We're excited because it's time to open packs in the next couple of days. And at least give ourselves a chance at packing some of these absolutely mental team of the year cards. Watch out for more leaks with official stats and news, of course. And we'll reconvene tomorrow on Friday as we get to the actual start of Team of the Year. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you do. See you guys in the video at normal time tomorrow. Peace. Out.